Hi friends, in our previous part, we dealt with the definition of the soul. In this part, let us see how they possess living beings. Let's start by an example. There was a wife who was tortured by her husband as the husband had fallen in love with another lady and had affairs. The wife could not bear it and she used to fight with her husband on this issue on a daily basis and one day the husband could get angry to such an extent and could either kill his wife or she could terminate her life by suicide. In both ways, after the death, the wife who remained an unsatisfied soul could take revenge on her husband and to satisfy her lust, she could become a spirit and instead of going into Pretloka, she could settle in collective subconscious state and from there she could enter the lady's body whom she hates too much and possess her. From there she could enjoy sex and could even kill her living husband at some stage before leaving the lady's body. This is all about a hearsay of the stories revealed by many persons. This is how you could be possessed when you go to the emotional side that is the left side of the human body. You go to the extreme left when you become too much emotional and it takes you to the extreme right when you become too much aggressive, overactive or overambitious. People who are balanced in the center, namely neither being too ambitious nor being too emotional, never get possessed because they are far away from the collective subconscious and collective supraconscious state. Some evil spirits may possess you from the right side that is the over-ambitious or over-aggressive state. To give you an example, a lady who died young in an accident had the earnest desire to become an actress and she died with that wish. So she didn't go to Pretloka to take new birth but settled in the collective supraconscious state and from there she entered another body of a man who also wanted to become an actor and possessed him. Now this man who got possessed started behaving like a woman and this made his life miserable. You may ask why only this man got possessed. This is because he had an identical ambition and the best fit for the woman spirit to possess him. This goes to prove that there could be some electrical impulses present in the soul to match and identify the living bodies where it could satisfy its wants. All spirits are not bad. Some may quietly satisfy their wants in another living body unnoticed and may also live when satisfied. But the bad spirits who wish to take revenge for what they suffered in life do more harm to their living bodies. How do you know that any person is possessed? The spirits do take full possession of a person's body without their consent. This may include sudden irrational obsessive thoughts culminating or leading to suicidal actions. At times there could be no loss of consciousness in the victims but a series of misfortunes like loss in business, loss or theft of material possessions, loss of family members, loss of healthy family members for no reason and poor health status. Suddenly a healthy family member could pass away for no reason, not responding to medical treatment either. External physical pain could be caused to the victim as well and the victim could be flung around without any external force and may cause self-injuries for no reason. It could break things at home. A young person may show enormous physical strength 
to overpower strong persons who confront their views or wishes. They may speak in languages the victim does not know. They may eat enormous quantity of food. They may wander as if they do not know the place where they are living. They may make obscene gestures, dirty, abusive words and may show aversion to holy symbols, religious practices and places of worship and such uncommon responses the victim may never show before possession. They may speak in different voice. Male could talk as female and vice versa. They may talk about incidents and places which the victim is not supposed to know. If you notice any of these abnormal behavior, you can conclude that the person is possessed. The medical personalities may dismiss such abnormal behavior as psychological disturbances, but the fact remains that they may be possessed and may need exorcism, the expulsion of evil spirit from his body. The temple priest could evoke answers from the possessed about what it wants to leave the body of the victim in methodical religious practices and by chanting mantras threatening the possessed. The non-smoker victim could ask for a smoke. The vegetarian victim could ask for non-vegetarian food. But there is no scientific proof of what we said here and what is said in the scriptures about possession and warding of spirits. Let us wind up now and wait for the next part to know more about the details of this possession and how to avoid possession.